Unit 5, Trigonometry, Section 5.5, Finding Unknown Angles in Right Triangles. Let's start out with the formula for the three primary trig ratios. We're going to use SOHCAHTOA to help us remember it. Sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse. Cos of theta is adjacent over hypotenuse. And tan of theta is opposite over adjacent. Now let's put them to use. Here's our first example. Find the values of angle x. I'm looking for this angle right here. I'm going to take out the x. I'm going to use the Greek letter theta. First step, let's label the sides of the triangle. Right angle points at the hypotenuse. On the far side from my angle is my opposite side, and that leaves my adjacent side. Looking at our triangle, I know my hypotenuse. I know my opposite. I don't know my adjacent. And I'm not being asked to find my adjacent, so it's not important to me right now. I'm looking for the trig ratio that has the hypotenuse and the opposite side. That's sine. Anything with the adjacent side isn't useful. Okay, let's write our formula down. Now let's put in what we know. I don't know my angle, so I'm going to leave it as theta. I do know my opposite side, and I do know my hypotenuse. I'm going to take that 23 over 25, and I'm going to turn it into a decimal. 23 divided by 25 is 0 0.92. Now at this point, we know what the trig ratio is, but we don't know what angle went into that sign to find that trig ratio. So what that means is I'm going to have to use the inverse sign to find the angle. I'm essentially working backwards. So theta equals the inverse sine of 0 0.92. Punch that into my calculator. Punch that in on my calculator using second function sine, and I've got 66.9 degrees. There's my angle. Let's do another one. We're looking from that angle right there. I'm going to change it from an x to a theta. Let's label our sides. Right angle points at the hypotenuse. On the far side of my angle is my opposite side. And it leaves 10 as my adjacent side. So I've written down my formula. Now I'm going to take a moment. I'm going to try and figure out which one I'm going to be using. Sine, cos, or tan. Know my hypotenuse. Know my adjacent. I don't know my opposite. And I'm not asked to find it, so it doesn't matter to us. So I'm working with adjacent and hypotenuse. That's a cosine question. Let's put in what we know. Cos of theta equals 10 over 13. Be careful how you're putting these numbers in. You have to put the numbers in the right spot. The adjacent side always goes on top, and the hypotenuse always goes on the bottom. Let's turn that 10 over 13 into a decimal. So 10 divided by 13 gives me 0 0.769. That right there is a trig ratio, and usually we want to write down our trig ratios as three decimal places. And since we know our trig ratio, we're going to work backwards to find our angle. So the inverse cos of 0.769 will give us our angle. And we'll calculate that using second function cos. And our calculator gives us 39.7 degrees. There's our answer. Last example. Find the value of angle E. That's my angle E. That's the angle I'm looking for. I'm looking for that angle, so I'm going to label all my sides. I'm going to write down Sokotoa. All right, let's figure out which one this is. I'm looking for an angle, so it must be a sine, cos, or tan question. I know my adjacent side. I know my opposite side. I don't know my hypotenuse, so it's not useful to me. Opposite and adjacent? That's a tan question, because sine and cos both have the hypotenuse in it. Let's put our numbers in the proper places. Once again, I'm careful to make sure that I put my opposite on top and my adjacent side on the bottom. 12 divided by 5 gives me 2.4. Inverse tan of that. After punching it into my calculator, my second function tan gives me 67.4 degrees. Once again, we're looking for an angle, so this is a degrees answer.